drawing a straight line graph, um, grade C, GCSE, level 7 national curriculum. Now, this sort of question it never used to be grade C, but this is actually the last question on the GCSE Foundation paper, so one can only assume that means that they've um, given it a grade C level now. Um, but the thing that makes this a little bit tricky is this half x, which is slightly unusual. Usually it's just a number there, like two or three. Anyway, so there's a, there's a couple of ways of doing this. We can start by the sort of standard way, which is to draw out the table of values to get us some points. Because essentially what we need to do is find some coordinates that match onto this, um, that work for this equation. And it says from minus two to four, so there's your clue. You should really be looking at taking the numbers between uh, minus two and four. Um, and when, when you've got a table of values like this, although the minus is on the left hand side, always start with the positive numbers, you're less likely to make a mistake then. So we've got to do y is equal to a half of x plus five. So this is the x value, which is four. A half of four is two, plus five is seven. Okay, and then we've got a half of this x value, which is three, so one and a half plus five is six and a half. A half of two is one plus five is six. Then when you've got two or three, or three or four, you then you can see the pattern, and it's just, because it's a straight line, these are always gonna be the same pattern, so it's going down by a half each time. So this one's gonna be five and a half. This one's gonna be five. Half of zero is zero, plus five is five. And then we've got four and a half, and that often that will stop you having to even work out the negative values. Um, if we had to work out this negative value, a half of minus two is minus one, plus five is four. So that gives us the coordinates. And from there we need to plot these points, so uh, minus two, four, minus two and four. Make sure you go across and then up. Uh, minus one is the next coordinate, minus one, four and a half, so minus one across four and a half up, and then we've got zero, five, uh, one, five and a half, two, six, three, six and a half, and four, seven. And once you plot the points, you must join them up. So get a ruler, bring it in, and join up your points. Um, another thing that I always tell students to do is to make sure you don't just join Oops, that's a bit low, but to make sure you don't don't just join the points from the start to finish. Make sure your line goes past the end of each point because it it should this line actually goes on forever, so it should go on um, infinity in both directions. So it's best to be showing that by going past the end of each point. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. I'm going to show you another one, um, a more, slightly more sophisticated way. Let's just um, remove that line and these coordinates. Okay, now at a sort of higher level, if you uh, have learned about um, gradients and intercepts, you will know that this half tells you that for every one you go across, you need to go up a half. That's what the gradient tells you. Whatever this number is in front of the x value, when you've got y equals, that number tells you how far you go up. If it's a negative number, it tells you how far you go down. And this plus five tells you what happens when x is zero. When x is zero, y is five. So that number there, whatever it is on its own, will always be the number that the, the line crosses the y-axis. So we know it's gonna cross at five. And then we know it's gonna go across one, up a half, across one, up a half, across one, up a half, across one, up a half. And we can come back using the same idea, across one, down a half, and so on. Then we can draw the same line again. Hopefully I'll get a little bit closer this time. And again we have a straight line through the points. I think that one's slightly better than the previous one. Okay, so there are different ways of doing it. Um, technically you only need two points to draw a line, so it doesn't say you have to plot all the points, it just says for minus two to four, so you've got to make sure you go from at least minus two to four. Um, so there's there's three marks available here, so we've got one mark for, um, we well get all three marks if you plotted the line correctly. 
there's one mark for getting at least two points that you've worked out, even if they're incorrect, plotted uh, correctly from your table or from values that you've shown worked out. Um, and there's uh, so uh, and there's one mark for doing um, getting at least two of these right. So one mark for getting at least two right. One mark for plotting at least two of the points that you count uh, created and one mark for actually finishing the line correctly between minus two and four.